Food waste is a huge problem. It's an immense source of carbon emissions, everything from its production to its transportation to how quickly and frequently it gets to landfills and emits methane. We need to modernize the entire process. But we all know that there are food insecure people. The reality is we actually produce enough food to feed them. But food waste and inefficiency in the supply chain are so severe that all these mouths go unfed. Through actually extending shelf life and reducing waste, we can allow more access to all of these people and allow for food to go where it's meant to be. I'm Adam Barron's CEO and one of the founders of Mori. I was born in Louisiana, moved to the Maryland, D.C. area when I was pretty young. Culture at home was really a lot of Cajun cuisine. I spent a lot of time in the kitchen with my mom. Food became kind of centered to who we were. Starting a company was always something that I wanted to do. Where I got most excited was, can you use existing technologies in new ways versus having built things ground up? And how can we take these materials or approaches that are already scaled and apply them in new ways to new problems? Mori is a shelf life extension company that uses a natural protein from silk to improve quality. Silk is an ancient material that evolved for purposes of protecting the silk caterpillar turning into a silk moth. And so there's one protein in there that's responsible for maintaining breathability and slowing down things like microbial growth. We're lending these wonderful properties of a protein that's been around for thousands of years to the surface of food. We generally see the potential to extend shelf life by 25 to up to 100%. We bring in the silk materials, which have been raised in such a way that they are already organic and food safe. We get our silk from small family-owned co-ops who are willing to work with us on getting their silk to be organic and expanding the reach of their current operations. The ingredients we use in our processing are very simply silk, water, heat, and salt. Right now we have the ability to manufacture enough silk to coat 20 million pounds of leafy greens per month. And then food manufacturers and growers add it to existing wash and spray stations. We're doing about 3 million pounds of spinach every month right now. We're working on tropical fruits, so both whole pineapple, cut pineapple, and bananas. We're doing roasted nuts. You can coat the nuts so you don't have that metallized, gas-infused heavy packaging. We're also working on trying to extend baked goods so a 36-hour product isn't getting delivered and thrown away every day. This is the problem that matters today, the combination of food access and climate. The food system is one of the largest carbon emitters. You can isolate that to just the food waste side, but the reality is that every time we throw something away, we're also producing again. And so all of the energy that's going into the agriculture itself and shipping and all the redundant production is problematic. The other reality is to keep food fresh and high quality, a ton of carbon intensive processes are used. And so that's everything from cold shipping to cooling times to using a lot of petrochemicals and plastics and packaging. One of the big problems that Mori directly offsets is how much food is going to trash can at various levels of the supply chain. But when you make something more resilient, you can ship it differently, you can package it differently, you can do inventory management differently, you can reach new markets and stores you couldn't before. Our product has the potential to really positively impact global supply chains to allow for certain food items that can't reach certain places to now be available in those markets. Food deserts and nutrition access are a huge problem, both domestically and globally. One of the big reasons that people don't have access to fresh food is actually because it's not economical to do these last mile distributions to somewhere like a 7-Eleven or a convenience store in the corner because of how much they have to throw away. The extra day or two it takes to get to the end of the supply chain actually means it can't stay on the shelf very long, which means that these stores don't make money selling them. And so by extending shelf life, you can actually totally change how profitable it is for these stores to carry fresh food and get more nutritious calories to all these different populations. At the end of the day, we have deep belief that silk protein will be one of the green materials for the future. Our intent is fundamentally changing how our supply chains behave. To solve the climate issue, as well as to solve nutrition access, it's system-wide or nothing. And Finding a technology that could transform all of that felt like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be the change that I hope to see.